Um, it is my, my pleasure to introduce our next artist, who is our new recurring on this show artist, Wes Hazard. Everyone give up for Wes Hazard. Yeah. Fantastic, right? We love that. 
I also wanted to discuss with you this. And this is hard. I'm a, I'm a dinosaur expert. Uh, I travel all around the country giving lectures like this. I'm often alone in hotel rooms. Dinos are my passion, my life. I've given everything to them. It's hard for me to find and share that love with others. And sometimes, us dinosaur experts, we look in the bottom of a bottle and uh, we want to share that passion. There's no one there except ourselves. And maybe you Google image search dinosaurs having sex, okay? <laughs> And I have to say, as a man of the 21st century, I was shocked to find that this was the most lewd picture. I was quite disappointed, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but I have Googled cat porn, and it will make you go blind. All right? I'm just saying. So, that's the one right there. Yeah. As you can see, T-Rex was a fan of uh, rear penetration. That's his thing. All right, so. <laughs> I also wanted to talk to you about Theodore Rex, 1996 movie, starring Whoopi Goldberg and Theodore, the T-Rex, obviously. A movie that I will admit I have not seen, but which fills me with hope for the human spirit. The mere fact that you can spend $35 million to take an Oscar winner who broke down gender and race barriers in Hollywood and star her in a movie with a T-Rex wearing a leather varsity jacket for 87 minutes and no one thought that was illegal. That's amazing, right? Come on. I will bring us back briefly to that awful film, Jurassic Park, which, if you're not aware, I will let you know, if you go to the IMDb trivia page for said movie, you will find that upon watching Jurassic Park, George Lucas was finally convinced that the technology had arrived for him to pursue the Star Wars prequel. So, perhaps the worst thing that movie has done is bring us Star Targets! That beacon of space-age mystery, which I still have with that. And also, Theodore Rex, I'm gonna, the top comment on IMDb, user generated comment for Theodore Rex is it's a little of an urban legend, but supposedly, once you watch this, you become so depressed that you try to kill yourself. Alright, yes! <laughs> top comment! Top comment! <laughs> Lastly, I will point out the Black Ranger, who, if you are not aware, was an African American, because it was so obvious, who used not only Kung Fu and learn martial arts skills, but break dancing <laughs> to defeat the forces of Rita and Lord Zed on a week-to-week basis. Now, he is not technically a dinosaur. He represented mastodons. Everybody else got the cool dinosaur. Triceratops, pterodactyl, T-Rex, black guy, mastodon. And you will break dance your way to feed, defeating kaiju. That is amazing. It only a few short years after Theodore Rex. So I think we made a quite a lot of progress in this, you know, moving forward to Jar Jar Binks several thousand years down the line. That's an amazing thing. So, that is what I have to teach you today about the dinosaurial arts. I'll be back at you next month. You guys have been amazing. Learn. Thank you very much. Yeah!